How many people are left? How many people? I didn't mean to pick this up. It's actually in better condition than my other shotgun, but oh well. Fuck. Whew, come on, save this. Don't crash. We've got one guy left that I know of on the other ah. side of the wall, and he's gonna kill me instantly. Wonderful. Perfect. Brilliant. God damn it. Ah! Now, see, this is fun. This is the fun sort of challenging. Where it's actually possible to succeed. I really should have just gone with the Salter. You know, screw trying something different. Let's go with something that I'm actually decent at. Because it's infinitely more effective to just run around with a assault rifle or whatever. Hide around corners and shoot people when they walk around them. Than it is to try to snipe with a moist nugget, as they call it. Because it just doesn't work. You! Bastard. This is truly the bastard gun. May not look like it, but it is. This gun is a righteous bastard. Outright bastard. Evil bastard. And I don't even know where the merc I shot at went. That makes things... There he is, there he is. No, 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 you come to me. You come to me. Shit. Go through the door. I need cover. Hit him. See the blood on the wall. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna throw this gun at a wall in a minute here. I picked up a... Thank you! I can actually pick up and equip or equip and use grenades without having to put it into a gun slot for stupid reasons. That's so great. Now if only the knife would work the same way like it did in the previous version of Misery. Now unless I killed this guy with a grenade, I didn't really accomplish anything so far, so I don't think I I'm going to save. Quite yet. There's a windowsill. Did I get him? No, I can't. I couldn't have. I don't see him anywhere. Woo! What a relief. Whew. Man. I didn't just run out of iced tea. I say I needed a drink. Actually, I kind of still do need a drink. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, I just want the silencer and the ammo. You can keep your crappy Makarov. Thank you. All right, time to loot. Actually, no. I don't think there's actually a carrying capacity maximum in this mod. I mean, I'll just run out of stamina insanely fast, but why not carry everything? Go back to the Skadovsk when possible. You know, sell it all off, make some money. Spend it all repairing suits and whatnot. Most likely, and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe have some profit left over to do some great things with. Problem is, now I have to find where the other corpses are. I really hope that's just ambient noise I'm hearing and that I'm not having... Any mutants come this way? This fuck. That genuinely sounded a bit like a bloodsucker. You know, the heavy breathing. I really do not need that right now. I really don't. 
I mean, for one thing, I'd die. For another thing, I'd probably die in real life out of shock. So, just do not need that kind of crap. Alright, just took perseverance, stubbornness, and not trying to snipe with a broken ass mouse in the gaunt. Hmm. It's a bit interesting, never really noticed that before. Given the way Stalker generally works, I would have expected that to be, uh, you know, a model rather than a texture, but whatever. Hello? Got a sudden radio, some. The radio is a. Oh, that's why. It's got batteries in it. Now, I did do some testing regarding batteries and such. Um, unfortunately, they don't add to your power supply source. I could swear I saw glowing eyes with that last flash of lightning. Jesus Christ. Yeah, they don't add to your power supply. They just, uh, you know. Um, they just, uh, replace what's missing, basically. Let's see, can I repair some rifles? Nope. With this, I can repair the Mazin. Not that I really need to. Ah, uh, do I have anything to repair the suit? That's kind of what I need. Merc Faction Patch. Clearly, this will be useful. Where's my torch on? It's just gonna give away my position to anybody that wanders nearby. I don't want that. Can I repair any guns? Oh yeah, I can repair these that I don't really want to repair. Damn it, I want to repair this. Uh, let's just look at other options. So I guess I'll have to buy another sewing kit. I really don't like this whole uh, each repair item only lasts once thing. Like you, you're not gonna use up your entire um, repair kits uh, fixing one thing. If anything should be expendable, it's well, what's already expendable? All of the uh, items you use to repair with. Also, anti-personnel mine. Awesome. I'll have to make sure to <clears throat> not accidentally sell that. Uh, first, let's save, just in case things go bad overnight. Badly, rather. Um. Whew. Tell you what's making this even more miserable. That's an interesting looking sunset. That's somehow a lot brighter than you know, the ambient light here. You know, it's making it even more miserable is the weather. Wait, what? Oh, you put it down on the ground. Okay. It's got goofy ass physics. <laughs> alright. Alright. I'll just Whoops. Okay. Sleep till seven, that seems to be late enough. Early enough to, you know, have a lot of time free in, during the day. In the sunlight. Presumably in the sunlight. While being late enough to have uh, allowed for a decent amount of sleep. Now the plan here is to... Uh, come on, quick save. It's called quick save, not slow save. God... Yeah, the plan is to, uh... Make it back to the Skadovsk. Ah, oh, there's a guy up here I didn't loot yet. Sweet! More goodies to sell. Yeah, plan is to make it back to the Skadovsk, uh... And, uh... That'll probably be it. I know we didn't really accomplish a whole lot in terms of, uh... Quantity of things you know, accomplished. But I think a difficult fight with some mercs is a decent enough, amount, decent enough amount of action for this session. 
Although it probably spanned multiple... <laughs> multiple, uh, videos. Now, the question is how to get back to this Godovsk, uh, without catching the, uh, sight line of those bandits. Hmm. Ah, uh, some cheap ass alcohol. Boy, would that actually not, not be a bad thing in real life right now. Let's have some crappy food. It should be enough to make me not run out of stamina after the three steps. Not that I'm going to fare too much better carrying this much stuff. Ah. Fuck. Use the stim pack. Come on. Start healing. Perfectly aimed grenade. I guess they're trying... Oh, I guess I would have run into the fucking boards anyway. You know what? The bandits want this station. They can have it. Their ghosts can have it. If they're going to... Did the body seriously fucking disappear? Really? I load a save and... Bodies disappear? <sighs> Well, let's just eat some shit again. And get ready. Because if the bandits are going to come over this way again, I want to be ready. And I want to shoot them. Of course, to prepare for this, let's cheat. Go into demo record mode and have a little bit of a fly around. Just to see. But who knows, maybe this is beyond 150 meters and their A life is still offline. Maybe if I try to exit stage left, they won't notice me. <laughs> Here's hoping. You know, if they're not going to head towards the station right away when I'm all set up and ready to, to defend, I'd rather them, you know, not um, interact with me at all. Man, tea sucks, I swear. <laughs> Drink some nice tea to try to stay awake for longer recording sessions this late at night, and... Uh, well, just like anything with aspartamine, even though this is regular real tea, not some fake crap. It ends up just making your drown mouth drier than it does, uh, you know, quenching the thirst as it's meant to. Yada, 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 rambling on. Conveniently running out of stamina right next to radiation. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to fuck with that right now. The Iron Forest. I'm in no condition to deal with that sort of stuff. It's just a strangely bright part of a tree. Let's use my um, augmented binoculars and just have a look. A scout ahead. Ah, yep. Yep. Of course, I go to the right, they decide they want to go to the substation workshops. I go to the left, they all stay home. You'll get yours one of these days. You know what? Screw the original plans. I think I'll try to take a shot at this. Who knows, maybe I was hitting earlier with the other bullets, it just wasn't doing any, anything because it was just FMJ rounds rather than this uh, Chinese AP stuff. Now 
Don't tell me I attracted dog's attention. Yep, no idea if I'm actually hitting anything at this range. What makes this worse is that if I somehow manage to make it closer range without being detected, which isn't really likely, the only real cover I'd have is the same damn building they're all hiding around. So I'm pretty sure I hit a few shots there. I vaguely, uh, kind of heard, uh, somebody yelling something in Russian. I think I got him. I hope I got the other guy that was advancing. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. Yes, 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 yes. Looks like I've got two confirmed. And what do you know? It only... <laughs> it only worked when they got, you know, relatively close. Almost to the point where I could have just used a non-scoped rifle to fight him. Great, now we got another guy with the military armor. As if this wasn't difficult enough. Look at this guy running around with no weapon now, looking normal. Dektyarev, uh, you know, would certainly love a, some, some sort of ability like that. They s sounded a bit closer than they are. Brilliant. Yep, I dropped my gun. Where'd my gun go? Yep. Figures.